What's up everyone, Zach DL here with some more Forza 4 Make It Fast. Last episode we did the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8, that thing was crazy. Today what we're going to do is uh, showcase the Celica GT4 ST205. Um, this thing is ridiculous. Look at the amount of power and how much it weighs. It weighs almost nothing. It's insane. So we're going to get uh, go ahead and uh, get into this car here. And then we're going to hit upgrade and look at the benchmark. 2.9 seconds to 60. This is, again, an all-wheel drive vehicle, just like the Jeep. Uh, braking is a lot better than the Jeep, but the top speed isn't as great. It's 190. So 0 to 100 miles an hour in 6.5 seconds. That's what my car does 0 to 60 in. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty fast. Uh, in case you guys were wondering, I drive a Mercedes CLK 320 from 1998 with like 220,000 miles on it. It's still an awesome car. Um, I have a video of it on my channel if you guys want to check it out at any time, you know. Just thought I'd tell you my other videos, you know. I don't I don't just... My, uh, my gaming is a new thing. But uh, anyways, enough of that. And um, so we'll go ahead and test drive it. Uh, again, we're going to be at Fujimi Kaido the full circuit and like the last episode we will do a top speed run on the top gear test track when i'm done showcasing this um what i did for upgrades with this is uh uh let's see it's already already uh, already all wheel drive so that's that's it um i did uh full engine upgrades race brakes race suspension all that fun stuff this thing handles a lot better than the uh, than the Jeep that we drove in the last episode. See, there's there's 90. S wow. Okay. Uh, let's let's restart that. Um, I took that corner at like 95 miles an hour. It did it with no problem. I just didn't break. Okay. Here we go. There's 60 there. Just, just watch the speed on this thing. Like, I'm not even trying, and this thing is handling so well. I think this is one of my best handling cars that I own. Uh, the Supra in the next episode um, is quite amazing. Uh, I, th I think I mentioned that all these vehicles that I'm doing uh, last episode, this episode, and the next one are all wheel drive. They're all all-wheel drive. Um... I did that for speed reasons and for handling reasons. Um, then again, this series is called Make It Fast, so. The brakes on this thing just monster it. They make it so much better to handle than that Jeep. Because with race brakes, that Jeep did like 130 miles an hour from, er, <laughs> 130 miles an hour, no. 130 feet to stop from 60. It was pretty bad. This thing does, I think, 110 or 100 or something. It's so much better. But yeah, this this is definitely w one of the best handling cars I've built. Um, this and the Supra in the next episode pretty much have the same setup, uh, aside from a couple other, couple other things. Uh, the Supra monsters everything um it's crazy i'll just give you a little hint um it wheel spins at 100 miles an hour uh i'm not going to tell you guys the amount of power you'll just have to see that in the next episode yeah um as far as uh having the uh the tires at temperature this one is not as good as uh, the Jeep, you know, but when you're always uh, going around corners, you want to keep the tires warm so you have as much traction as possible. See, there's a bit of understeer there, but I, th uh, I think that's because I wasn't under power. You can usually power it out. Like here. See there, I just powered it out at, you know, 70 miles an hour. see here there's 90 100 there 
All right, let's see how fast we can take it around this corner. 60, no problem. Oh, had a problem there. <laughs> um, there's not much turbo lag. Then again, I think this has the stock turbos. I'm not sure. I It might have twin turbo on it. I'm not sure. But there's not much turbo lag. I mean, there's a little bit after this corner. Oh, that was bad. Um, there's there's a little bit of turbo lag. Like, uh, let's see. Maybe not doing it around this corner is a great idea. Okay, I'll do it at this little straight here. Um, so it's it's going to be floored. And it's going to kick in soon-ish. So here it goes. And there it's kicked in. So you have like a, a second of turbo lag when you get into second gear. In first gear, it's fine. Um, as far as if you're at speed, in a low gear, let's try... Okay, let's try 40 miles an hour after this, this corner here. Okay, um, 40 miles an hour, second gear, here we go. It kicked in after half a second. There's, there's really not much turbo lag. It's a good car. Um, uh, yeah, so, as you can see, it's a great handling car. And I think what we're going to do now is go ahead and show you the top speed. of this car real quick. Okay, we want it at the top gear. Six hundred and seventy four performance points, S class vehicle. Drag mile Let's see how fast we can get this thing up to. I can't remember the top speed. I think it's like 190 or something. Here we go. There's 65 there. And we're already to 100. 110, 120. 130. 150. Speedometer's like, oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> 170. 180, should bounce off the rev limiter soon, 188 is what we got it up to. Well guys, this has been a showcase of my Celica ST205, stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, uh, also like it, follow my Facebook and Twitter to know when more videos will be posted, and I'll see you guys in the next video, thanks for watching.